people what's up welcome welcome back to my channel i'm tori today's video is going to be another fun lookbook i'm finally feeling inspired and feeling like making fashion videos again and styling videos again so i hope you can tell how excited i am what do we think of the hair i went to a taylor swift listening party the other day and my hair has kept its curls which is wild because i have like stereotypical asian hair that like stays pinned straight no matter what I do but I think because I've been dying it over quarantine it's dead and it's it's holding a curl what do we think do I look very red era Taylor Swift because that's what I was going for um yes anyways today's video like much of my other lookbooks is going to be centered around a very trendy piece that I have recently added to my closet and it is this Heaven by Marc Jacobs in collaboration with the Virgin Suicides top. It has Lux who's played by Kirsten Dunst on it and she's holding a little candy apple. In case you didn't know, Heaven by Marc Jacobs is Marc Jacobs's more youthful and Gen Z oriented line. It definitely takes a lot of inspiration from like more grunge and punk aesthetics and a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. Clearly I love it. I have this top along with a couple others. And I just think not only is this line like a great corporate move for him, but I love that he's kind of making like designer pieces a little bit more affordable. The Heaven by Mark Jacobs line notoriously sells out a lot. And so when I bought this top, I was like, do I actually like this top or am I just buying into the hype and I just want the it piece of the moment? And I was thinking about it and I was like, actually no. The Coppola family low-key owns my psyche. One of my first videos on YouTube was me talking about my favorite movies and one of them is The Bling Ring, which was also directed by Sofia Coppola. I love the movie Palo Alto, which was done by her cousin Gia Coppola. I even have a little empty bottle of Gia's wine right there. So clearly the women of the Coppola family, like are in my brain. I think it's safe to say that this top is kind of like a mix of both. I do love the hype, but I also just love this top itself. And one thing I really love about this top is that it kind of is like this newer take on a graphic tee. This technical style has been around for a really long time, but I think it's like coming back into style, coming back into fashion. And even if you don't have this top, I thought making this lookbook would be really great to show you all how I kind of style around such a statement piece. And hopefully you can find ways to style your more statement graphic tees. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this look already. I wore this to the first influencer dinner I ever went to last week. So I paired the top with these trousers that I thrifted, my go-to loafers, and this bag for a little pop of color. really wanted to bring out the red and the candy apple that Lux is holding. If you don't have a very colorful closet, but you want to style a very colorful or statement top, Look for the pops of color within the top and then accentuate them with more fun accessories. Or if you're more of a makeup girl, I would definitely say a pop of color on the lips or on the eyes would also be super cool. So for this second look, I was inspired by the movie The Virgin Suicides, specifically the uniforms the girls wear to school. This skirt that my friend Emma thrifted for me really reminded me of a similar color palette. And to make it more my own, I added an oversized denim jacket to it and my new purple purse. I think the inclusion of the denim jacket and this bag added a lot more texture to the outfit. So not only is the statement in the graphic that I'm wearing, but I'm also wearing so many more fun elements. For this third outfit, I just wanted to show off the versatility of this top and show you that I would also wear it as just a second skin top. The sleeves are a little boring, I'm not gonna lie. But I paired it with this sweater vest that I got recently from Zara. Moral of the story is you don't always have to make a graphic top the center of the outfit. This fourth outfit is definitely my I'm going to the farmer's market look. I feel like I have a look like this in every lookbook, but it's like, that's part of my life. So for this outfit, I really like went back to basics. We have some basic blue jeans that so we have the beige in the tote, the beige in this really fun cardigan, and the beige in my Birkenstocks. I also really just love this cardigan because I feel like it really gives a 90s energy to my outfits. And again, we're adding more texture because it's crochet and I just think it's great. And then for this next one, I really just switched out the cardigans. I feel like the browns just make it very autumnal and it really goes with like the browns in the background of the graphic tee as well. Mm -hmm. 
So for this next outfit, I tried to dress it up a little bit. I also tried to take some inspiration from the Heaven by Marc Jacobs promotional pics. They have a version of this print in a really long skirt. So I felt like pairing my top with a very long skirt, this is the one I chose. Something about it just feels very nostalgic to me. And for the rest of the outfit, I really went really basic with all black. So yes, that's another tip for you. I think it's never bad to look at the website where you bought it from for inspiration. Like obviously they know something because the whole styling team went behind the photos. The internet is your friend. The possibilities and the inspirations are truly endless. For this last outfit, I wanted to add another pattern into the mix to show you that you can dress a graphic with another graphic. I have this midi skirt from Topshop with hearts on it, and I just thought the hearts, again, we're going back to the red and the apple, bringing it out with the red in the skirt, and I put on this black shrug over it, kind of just to trick people who are looking at me directly on to think that it's a bit more of a cohesive look. I feel like this outfit really captures my intent to have myself be wearing the pieces rather than having the pieces wear me. So yeah, that's it for this video. Please let me know which outfit was your favorite and I hope you got some inspiration and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.